Hey, this is Nick Pino, the EMF guy, and today I'm going to show you my rental car and how to measure EMFs in a car. As you can see by my uh, very laid-back t-shirt, I'm in vacation mode. I'm going to a little shack in the middle of nowhere with my uh, two brothers and my dad. It's a very cool weekend. I'm looking forward to it. And here's the Nissan Versa that uh, I rented for the occasion. One thing that you want to check when you have a rental car is first, uh, right in the, the corner of uh, the passenger and the driver window, usually you can have um, the 4G LTE icons on there. So if there's a sticker, it means that there's a hotspot inside. And this is why I decide not to rent cars with uh, hotspots. And most of them are Chevrolet or GM. Unfortunately, if there were uh, there was a hotspot inside, which you could see on the dashboard here, it will be written 4G LTE, sometimes provided by uh, this or this other company. Sometimes it's uh, OnStar. Depending on, again, what country you, you live in, it's going to be different. But if there is a hot, uh, a hot spot inside, uh, what's important to know is that most of them cannot be turned off. So it means that essentially you'll have a router, a Wi-Fi router straight in your face as you drive. And the passengers, and that's the, the, the good side of the technology or how they sell it, is that the passengers can have free Wi-Fi. Um, if you're sensitive to these signals, if you're looking to reduce your exposure, as I advocate, if you're, you followed any of my work so far, uh, that's definitely not ideal. As you enter the car, you want to look at, okay, what options on here could be emitting some sort of signal of microwave radiation or other EMFs. Uh, so far, so good. I don't see anything in particular, but if I look right here, you're going to see that there's a capability to have a phone call right, um, right on uh, this... Uh, this nice car in the automatic fashion so it means there's going to be a bluetooth option in there so let me um, let me uh, fire up this engine and look if we can turn it off in the menu so if i go in the menu i enter the settings uh, it looks like i can go into the bluetooth settings right here and i can turn on or off just using i think it's just clicking or let me oh you select and then there you go so now if i turn um by default it was turned on so if it's turned on it means that most of these these things how they're built is that even if i don't connect my phone if i don't click uh if i don't scroll below add phone uh, it will likely be emitting 24 7 so let me verify with my meter this one is the env rd10 and you can look it up at uh, non tinfoil emf.com slash rd10 uh, Roger Dennis 10 and uh, there's gonna be a link below this video but you can see it peaks in the red zone it's definitely not something I want to happen so uh, it looks like the antenna usually it will be uh, in, in in the board somewhere and it could even have a, an additional antenna in, in the steering wheel for all I know all I know is that there are EMFs right now being emitted and these kind of EMFs is the RF so I selected the first one right here which is RF radio frequency and this is Wi-Fi Bluetooth cell phone antennas smart meters uh, and tablets uh, and and over routers everything um, that is commonly seen these days for as wireless signals go so uh, let me verify my second meter to see if that's really happening the second meter is uh, yes I own two meters I'm I'm the MF guy what do you expect uh, it's a Cornet uh, ED88 T and uh, the new version is called the Cornet ED88 T Plus. And as you can see, there are let's say background levels right now. Zero. There are some peaks at 0 0.3, and then you got to turn it around a little bit to to feel for for the numbers. Uh, the emission seems to be fairly low. And keep in mind that I'm in a city, so it could be coming from just the neighbors in the street. But I see 0 0.3, and I see peaks right now. So it's on, off, on, off. And you see the megahertz right here, uh, right uh, at the, um, the, the top of the screen. It says uh, uh, about 2.4 uh, gigahertz, so 2,400 uh, megahertz. It means that it's Bluetooth. So le let's see if I go closer, 
I realize that I'm getting closer to the source. So likely the antenna is right here. And um, a, a few moments ago, I could get, there you go, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So normally you want to stay under 0 0.2 during the day. And most people that uh, are very uh, sensitive to these signals might get symptoms uh, headaches, they could get uh, uh, dizzy, they could get heart palpitations uh, at levels way below 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.06, maybe even lower than that. So if you feel uneasy in your car, it might be because the Bluetooth is on. So my next step, I'm going to try sh turning off this option and seeing if it makes a difference. Let's go back here. Let's turn it off. There we go. And then let's see if the signals drop. There you go, you don't have anything anymore. So my action step for this particular car was simply turning off the Bluetooth option. And keep in mind, unfortunately, it's not available in every car. That's all for me for today. This Cornet and this RD10 look at two other types of EMFs, magnetic fields and electrical fields. And both of those can can also be problematic depending on what is emitted by the motor while it is rolling or not. So to have a fair test, I would have to take my meter out during, let's say when I'm rolling on the highway, which I will not do right now. I don't have time, I gotta go. But keep in mind that RF is just one of the many types of EMFs out there. But if you remove this source by just turning off the Bluetooth option inside your car, you're reducing your emissions uh, or your exposure to these EMFs and you, you will probably feel clear uh, clearer minded and you will probably feel better it's uh, most most people don't realize how sensitive they are to these uh, this electro smog uh, before they remove it and then they realize that there are benefits so keep that in mind try turning off your bluetooth in your car if it's feasible if it's not well change your car or if you own it you might even uh, open the dashboard and remove the antenna which is something that might void the warranty but I, if I owned the car I would have done it myself. Um, so keep that in mind and keep in mind that if there's a hot spot in your car so if it's a Chevrolet or a GM chances are that there's a hot spot in there that's way harsher than what we've seen. I, I've measured levels of not 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 up to three volts per meter. So just as strong as a Wi-Fi router in certain of these cars. So if you own these cars and you don't feel well, well, grab one of these meters. The RD10 is the one I recommend. It's 140 bucks, maybe even cheaper. And it does the trick to detect your environment. The Cornet is a little bit more advanced, but it's great as well. So uh, this is Nick Pino, the EMF guy, and I'm going in the middle of nowhere. I might record a few videos just, just to see what the levels are at when you're in a no electro smog environment. All right, see ya.